good, everybody. Let's watch this showcase. Let's see if we get some uh, some good Resident Evil content. We're supposed to get a bigger trailer here. So we'll see what happens. Sorry about that. Okay. Monster Hunter. They're going to obviously end it with Resident Evil. I never actually played Monster Hunter. I never got into it. It always looked like a fun game, though. Apparently, you just go around hunting monsters. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. PlayStation people, we got something to talk about after uh, the show. Curse Dragon, what's good? What's good, family? How's everybody? Oh shit. Big ass dragon. Like I said, it looks dope, but I don't know. That's coming to Switch and Steam. Okay, that's why it looked a little weird. It looked a little off to be like a PS5 game. Espinas. Yeah, right. Nothing about that looks peaceful.
How about you guys out there? Who out there likes Monster Monster Hunter? Should I try it? I'm wondering, do you just kill these things or do you capture them? Like Pokemon or some shit. Nice. Oh, we get another clip. Hopefully we get this much Resident Evil content. I, uh, I, I'm sorry, man. I have I know nothing about this game, so commentary is kind of light on this one. <laughs> like I said, all all in all, aesthetically, it looks cool. It does. Will I play it? Probably not. It's a Switch game. Steam. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe we will check out that demo. Okay. Free title update. A lot of monsters. Dude, what's going on with Reavers? Are they going to tell us about Reavers today, man? I really hope so. I really do. Is it canceled? Just tell us it's canceled. Just tell us it's canceled, Capcom. Also, a few days. Hmm. Oh, you get the little fucking cute dog.
I'm gonna enjoy it if you give me some Resident Evil content. What the hell is that? Yeah. Now this game does look good too. Dude, the last Street Fighter I played was Street Fighter 2. Ah, whatever. Hyper Street Fighter. See, it's good to see the video game companies are actually, like, trying to preserve... Hold on, let me turn this. Oh. It's just good to see that, you know, video game companies are trying to preserve their IPs. Like, UK Titan, what's good? It's just good to see, you know, for... For, uh, not for just restoration purposes, but for, you know, people that... 50 years from now will have never would have never heard of these wonderful games unless it was somebody like me that would share them with them but what i'm saying is it's good to see that they're they're re-releasing these games from 30 years ago and uh you know you can you can still play them on most well some modern consoles i don't know i mean the PS3 and stuff like that, you can go back and play a lot of classics on. But, um, basically, yeah, I'm just... There's a lot of games out there that you can no longer play because, one, the developer or the publisher doesn't exist anymore. They've been bought out and so on and so forth. But let's get back into it. Leviathan. You had a good day, Dusty? Good shit, man. Good shit. Yeah, I downloaded Apex so I can play that with y'all. See, this kind of stuff... I don't know. I'm not really interested in... I mean, like I said, it looks cool, but... It's, uh... It looks a real fast pace, too.
Holy shit. This looks like a, a horde mode, but with dinosaurs, like, like zombies a little bit. This shit looks, this looks so bizarre. Exo Primal. Team based action. So what, like back for blood, but you're fighting dinosaurs? Hmm. Oh, you got a paid day off. Man, those are always the fucking best. I'm glad to hear that, dude. Yo, by the way, Dusty, I love your fucking overlays, dude. They look fire, bro. If if y'all ain't subscribe or I'm sorry, if y'all ain't following Dusty, well shit, go subscribe to him too. But if y'all ain't following Dusty, go follow him, man. He be he be out here, man. He be upgrading his streams for real. Every time you see every time you see his stream, he's got something new on it. It's dope. He's always trying to make it better, man, and that's that's one thing I can appreciate because I'm trying to too, as well. Let's try to add new things. Yeah, y'all know I'm just here for that Resident Evil. It's not the only Capcom game I like, though, but... A Neo Tyrannosaurus. This shit better be cross platform. Such as loot boxes. I did that with the uh, with Reverse. Check out my YouTube channel. I did like a video essay on. Uh, yeah, check out my YouTube channel. I did a I did a a video essay breaking down Reverse and stuff like that. They gave me uh, access for I think two weeks. I was able to get my friend on there as well, and uh, yeah, we played it for about two weeks. I liked it. Excuse me. A lot of dragons today.
Oh, there is enough. Okay. Don't do this shit to me with Resident Evil. Don't say in the coming days, Oh, man, I'm going to be pissed. I know, folks, I know we're not going to get that much more of a trailer. I know we'll probably get another minute of footage, if that, you know, but... I want my reverse. I want my fucking village DLC. Thank you. Let's fucking go. There's been a lot of talk that this is going to be a shadow uh, release where they just say it's available now, so we'll see. Yeah, I remember you. Village was a great game. It was a good game. Okay. World premiere. Oh, we're going to get the Rose DLC. Yep. So she's going back to the village after 16 years? Duke was evil? Shadows of Rose. Oh, wow. New content coming in the Mercenaries. That's cool. Okay, okay. Third person? Oh, shit. We knew that was coming. You fucking kidding me? You flash reverse and then what? Dimitrescu. There's no third person. No third person mercenaries?
Hey, appreciate that, Dusty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Dude, we have been for a long time. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's going to be dope. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is what we've been waiting for. I'm definitely digging the horror approach. Like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of all that action packed shit. It looks a lot scarier. I'm telling you, they're going to tie this shit into Village. Some way, somehow. They're going to talk about the Minimicy or some shit. Oh, Leon looks better. Looks a little older. I had a friend say he looks like a twink. I was dead. Okay.
Ooh, they do look creepy. Good. Yeah. Okay. So the control scheme. Okay. I'm excited. Telling Rody everybody's dead. When is this going to be released, dude? Is it available now? Come on, just, just say it's available now. George, what's up? What's up, Spence? I, I know who you are, bro. That's my brother right there. What's going on, man? When? When, you fucker? They already had 3D audio. Yo, I told you. Dude, let's go. It's available for release today. Let's go. We get those PS5 upgrades. You know you're going to see those on the stream in the coming uh, days. Dude, I had a feeling it was gonna just get shadow drop or shadow released. It's just available. So I, I'm gonna check the PlayStation Store right now and tell you because I actually tried to do this before the showcase. And they were not there. Wow, so that was it. So, a few things I wanted to talk about. 
Um, so first things first, I uh, today was a big day for PlayStation people. Uh, so we got the uh, the big uh, the big switch over, as I want to call it, I guess, to where you're you're there's no more PlayStation now. So you get the premium memberships and all that. Now I don't myself have a premium membership, but I do game share with a good close friend of mine who does have or did have PlayStation now. So now you are able to download Resident Evil Director's Cut, uh, Siphon Filter, and those are just just to name, you know, two games that I seen on the classic list. Hey, okay, we got some bands, but all right, Flat Earth. What the fuck, Astro Junkie? What's good? What's good? But um, yeah. So the list, uh, I would say. I would say, you know, they got they got to give you some more, but you can download the games. You can download, you can stream them, all that good stuff. Resident Evil Director's Cut is on there if you want to go check out that fucking hunk of garbage. Um, yeah, it's on there. They got they got some classics on there. They got Demon Souls for free. I've never played any of the Souls series. I downloaded that. Um, what else do we got? Uh, De Death Stranding Director's Cut PS5 version is out. Uh, yeah, just so today was a big day for gaming. I can say that um, if these PS5 releases are available on the sh on the store. We'll see. All right, Shaz, woo, getting ready for work. But I just had to tell you how awesome you are. Well, Shaz, thank you so much, man, because I love you, bro, and you're awesome too. You're awesome too. But yeah, so you can actually download these games. If you would have asked me, I would have said that they were only stream streamable. But you can download them. You can play through them. PS5 has an emulator on it now. So basically what PS now is, it just turned into an emulator. Um, and that's fine by me. You can do rewinds, quick saves, all that stuff. If you're familiar with emulation, it's on there. You can rewind your scenes. You can fast forward your scenes. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, man, that's that's dope, and I'm happy that uh, Resident Evil 4 is taking the horror approach. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think this might be potentially the best Resident Evil in, in my eyes. Now, Resident Evil 2, that's the one. That's the one, baby. That's the one for me. But I know a lot of you guys like Resident Evil 4. And, uh, you know, and I don't, I'll say this again, you know, I don't think that Resident Evil 4 was a bad game. I just think it was, was not a great Resident Evil game. I think as a standalone title, it probably would have been better. But it was revolutionary to third-person shooting and yada yada. So, uh, I just tried to search Resident Evil in the PlayStation Store and nothing came up. So let's try it again. That's, that's not something that, uh... I don't know if they're, like, updating it right now. Resident Evil Re Revelations, that's it. Huh. I don't know. I guess they're going to have to do some kind of maybe update in the next couple minutes or so. We'll see what exactly happens. But how do you get... Oh, I do. RE4 was ass. Killed the franchise for me. I never went back. Dude, Big T, I completely understand. I was a diehard fan. I played Resident Evil 5. And God damn it, I played Resident Evil 6. And I fucking hated it. I hated Resident Evil 6. I was like, man, I don't think Resident Evil will ever be the same. But then Resident Evil 7 came out. And I was I was not on board with the first person at first. But I liked it. I did. And Village was a good game too. Village was a good sequel. And I'm interested to see about that Rose content. I thought they were going to go the other way. I thought they were going to go uh, with the... Uh, at the very... Well, spoilers. At the very end of Village, you get to take over as Chris and his team i can't remember the name of their team but uh, there was some there was some cut content around them and i thought that that's where they were going to go with it 
But, uh, yeah, man, you know, I'm happy that they're taking the, uh, the right, I feel like they're taking the right approach with this. You know, they're going to keep the action, of course, for all you out there that love the action, but it's going to really be toned down. I think there's going to be a healthy balance. And, um, that's good in my eyes. That's a win. Now, can we get a Silent Hill game? You know, can we get a, can we get a fucking Silent Hill game or something? It's not letting me change versions or nothing. I boot. I just booted up Resident Evil 3 to see what what exactly might happen. But uh, it's just booting up the PS4 version. We got some time here though. But how do you guys feel about the showcase? Do you play Monster Hunter? Do you did you see any of those uh, any of those games that, that you seen? Did you like? I wonder how our save data is going to work. Am I going to have to beat Resident Evil Three all over again? Am I going to have to do these platinum trophies all over again? Probably. That's fine. I'll do it again. Come on, Catcom. You said they're available now. Okay, so I went to the versions. It's not on there yet. Huh. Well, they'll probably be on there by some point tonight. But man, that was, uh, that was cool. I'm happy. I'm happy. Today's a good day for gaming. Nothing really wild for me, but they're there. But I'm glad folks are excited for stuff. Hey, man, that's that's really all, what it's all about, right? I couldn't agree more, Big T. You know, I just I wanted to see. We were so amped for Resident Evil Four the other day. I just I I went in there with my my head hanging low. I was like, this is not going to be good. I, you know, I want Code Veronica, which I still do. My views haven't changed on that. But when I seen that they're they're going the right direction, like I said, with the horror approach, I'm I'm excited. And you you know, I was gonna buy the damn game either way. I was gonna play it either way, just to either shit on it on stream or or to love it, you know. But either way. I will keep you guys updated and posted on that. You know, we're probably going to do some Resident Evil in the coming days, uh, the PS5 versions. Go for those Platinums. We'll see how that works out. I'm not really sure, but uh, they're not on the uh, store as of yet. You know, I know the showcase ended, what, 10 minutes ago, 13 minutes ago. So, um, you know, all's well that ends well. All's well that ends well. You know, I wish I wish we got the reverse content a little earlier. That's uh, I, that didn't get canceled. If you would have asked me, I would have said that was canceled. But check out the new stuff on PlayStation Premium. If you guys are PlayStation players, check out the uh, check out all the new content that we got today. Uh, the PS Now stuff like that. You might even have like a free a free redemption for seven days. You can check it out and stuff. 
Uh, there's a lot of cool games on there, a lot of classics. If you're a retro gamer like me, you'll like it. You'll find some stuff to play. Definitely. Definitely. But, with that being said, I guess we'll, uh, we'll end the stream here. Let's see if there's anybody we can go raid. Mm. Oh, we gotta do shoutouts, too. Shouts out. Shouts out to Big T. Shouts out to Astro Junkie. And shouts out to White Boy Dusty. And Curse Dragon. Nice little 45 minute stream. Um, let's see, hold on. I agree, Silent Hill was awesome. What did I miss there? What did I miss there? Monster Hunter Street Fighter, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, Silent Hill was awesome. Silent Hill was awesome. We just need that Silent Hill remake, man. We do. We need that Silent Hill remake. All right, let's see. Who's who's live right now? Let's go pop in. Let's go pop in. We got Heggy and Skid. Yeah, I think we're going to go raid one of them. Let's go raid Heggy. Love y'all. See you in the next one. Peace.